So, <clears throat> I got a download, yo, and I wanted to tell y'all a story. I mean, just a theory. I wasn't there, but this is just a download, right? So, so just imagine when the most I said, I create. Now, a lot of times when I'm, t I'm talking, I'm going to segue to different parts and I'm going to explain different parts in my own, my own way because it's a download. So, the most I create, I create. Factual, the creation was the aspect of Pisces, which creates the eight and it creates a womb. The womb is where the Wu man is the image of. But what created the Wu man is created by the creator. So the womb, the aspect of Pisces, was in, embodied with all the knowledge of the creator. Why is that important? Because the womb, the aspect of Pisces, would then become the transmute energy of all creations. This is what we like to call a singularity or a black hole. It's like the most powerful force, the second powerful force besides creation. Or the act to create, might I say. But because this, this womb that was cut into the universe, a womb that's cut into the universe was in, endowed with all the power of divine in its reflection, meaning if it's looking in a mirror, it's not saying what it's saying here. It's just looking like what it looks like. So it's, it's something that has to take place to break that barrier, that sound barrier, right? So here we are the image of. So then with all the power embodied by the womb, there had to be a, cre a correction because as these things are going through the womb, it's like ownership, you know what I'm saying? It's like embodiment in some sense because the creation is literally coming through the womb and coming out like appearing to be something on the other side. But this is the act of creation. Somewhere in there, the, the descent of knowing separated ownership. Thus, the titles of parents was created in aspects. Hold on. So the value, the value became the physical reflection of the spiritual action. This is the manifestation of life. This is why it's perfectly imperfect. People want to know why there is no light here or nobody practices light. Want to know for the most part why there is no light. Well, there's light, there's plenty of light in most of the beings, but the reflection it's just the aspect of what the spirit is actually looking at. What is reflecting through, that's something different. We use reflection as mirrors just to get an idea of what that is. But when we're talking from the ether here, so then you have the sun that came out of the, out of the black, out of the darkness. The sun was the stabilization of the creation. The womb was still there, but the womb was embodying everything because it had all the knowledge of the creator. That didn't make it the creator. It made it the embodiment of the creation. So then you have a reflection of power now that shines on women without 
the understanding of its creation. And then you have the sun to stabilize this energy. Women's, women create sons, right? And daughters, but that's only in the image of what is created as, right? So women create sons to stabilize. Women, womb, creates the sons to stabilize divine creation. This might go over a lot of people's heads, but you wonder why the aspect of how respect value is like twisted right now in the world. That download, when it hit me, you know what I'm saying? Like I always knew, cause I would pray to the great womb and ask her why are your images or your reflections indeed not even willing to serve your own purpose. It's the power. It was the fact that everything that my father created was endowed in, in that creation. It was given. The, all the knowledge of creation was given to the first creation. It speaks in its own essence. It's not nothing to figure out. But to be a reflection of that, it shows the, the descent, right? It shows the opposite. So then it would be imperative for me to watch the process, right? Because, yeah, the stabilization of the creation was the sun. And I'm a son, so I can't be the opposite. But I see my brothers wilding out here right now. It's the world we live in. It's a lot of sun energy out here right now. And they hot and they going crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? But we supposed to be stabilizing and balancing our creation. I ain't gonna hold you. Naga.